I think a common question that we get, which is just like, okay, well, like, why should I be making a GTO oriented play, which plays my entire range versus just trying to play my specific hand, the highest EV I can. And, you know, having watched the Super Bowl, I, I thought of an analogy that was basically like, well, in football, you have two types of plays. You have a pass play and you have a run play. And there's a third type of play, which is I would call a branch in the strategy that we use in poker that's called a play action, which is essentially a fake run into a pass. And, um, oh, sorry, this is American football for all our uh, non-American friends. They get, <laughs> I lived in South America. I know they get very insistent about that. So we are talking about American football. Um, but anyways, like they one of the things that happens with these fake runs is that they end up being some of the biggest plays in football. There's like a lot of deceptive value. It's, you know, the, the defense will overcommit and then boom, you get a big bass pass play that ends up in getting points and touchdowns and things like that. So why is this so effective? Well, it's because basically you are getting someone to optimize their defensive strategy in football, the literal defense around defending a certain type of play when in actuality you're doing a different type of play however the cost on doing the the faking essentially you have to make it look plausible and it has to be a situation where it's plausible there's a cost to that like you're essentially running a less efficient pass play right it'll take longer for your people to get out there uh, there's a higher probability that the quarterback will be pressured into making a bad play etc um, and this is pretty much all directly analogous into poker where we have bluff raises and we have check raises and all these sort of sophisticated plays that we make a small percentage of the time. And most of the time we make those plays, we're just raising for value, right? It's like, Oh, we got someone to see better on the flop. And now we want to start playing a big pot with our very strong hands or, you know, we called on the flop, we raised the turn, we just raised the flop, whatever we raised the river we got there, you know, all these times when we want to value raise, we also want to have these bluffs. And these bluffs are, I think, just a perfect analogy to a play action in football where that bluff is less efficient. Because if you think about it, like if I'm making a bluff raise on the river, most of the time I'm risking more than the size of the pot to win this pot with a hand that doesn't have any chance of winning, right? And so that's a highly inefficient play in general. And uh, so I just think that that analogy is, there's this, that direct connection in terms of like, understanding conceptually why we sometimes make inefficient looking plays that the deceptive value even has mathematically provable strategic value. I think that's a really, really good analogy.